my golf pass, I'm going to help you gain distance off the tee the simplest way possible. I call it amifying, which means making golf simple, fun, and effective. <laughs> to hit long off the tee, it's not a secret anymore to have to use those hips. Let's take a look. Oof, that was a good one. <laughs> Feels good to start with a good one. All right, let's take an LPGA Tour player, Patty Tavatanike, for an example. When she won the ANA Inspiration, she was averaging 320 yards off the tee. That's an insane number for someone who's not that big. She's about 5'5", five five, but if you take a look at her swing, she is really powerful with those hips and very fast with the hips. And a lot of amateurs already know to have to use the hips really well, but the most common fault I see with the amateurs when they're trying to use the hips is two things, spinning out and early extension. Let's talk about the spin out first. So when you are trying to turn really hard with the hips and you overuse them, then boom, that's gonna cause a spin out kind of like this. <laughs> almost fell over on that one. So when you spin out, as you saw in the down the line view, you are going over the top. So the swing plane gets really thrown off, which is going to cause a big slice. And also from the face on, you notice that I was not shifting correctly. That spin out was interfering with my proper weight shift. So that's going to kill the power. So if you spin out, you're going to hit it short and crooked, and we don't want that combination. Early extension is if you look from the down the line view, let's draw a wall behind our hips. You want to keep the hips on the wall as much as possible throughout the whole swing. But when you early extend, now you're really using your hips the wrong way, thrusting forward, you're coming off the wall. You notice how my spine angle goes up, my head moves up. And when you're moving away from the golf ball, it kind of forces you to have to cast down to make some kind of contact with the golf ball. So it kind of looks like this. Early extension, when you're thrusting forward, like this. When you're casting down, you're either like pop it up or cold top it just like that. So in this case, I'm going to have to have you guys keep your head still, keep your hips on the wall and somehow create a lot of hip speed, maintaining those awkward angles. It doesn't sound all that easy, right guys? But as I have promised, I'm going to amify it for you and you have to do is this one move. Let me grab this noodle to show you. And T1 up to explain it to you guys. Ta-da, I got a noodle in my hands uh, so you can see this better. You're going to be making a V, that's it, okay? So I want you to set up with the hands on the noodle, wider than shoulder width apart. And when you set up, we're gonna do small swings, half swings. You're gonna take it back, boom. And this noodle is pointing at the golf ball, right? Down at the golf ball. This is the one part of the V. And then from here, you're gonna keep your hips on the wall. Your head's gonna stay very steady and you're gonna get very explosive with your hips. Boom. <laughs> Feels almost like a core workout right there. And you notice how this noodle is pointing back at the ball and that formed a beautiful V at the golf ball. So from here, boom, like that. I almost sound like a tennis player because I'm grunting. <laughs> this is really going to get your hips explosive, boom. But if you are spinning out in this position, let's, let's try spinning out. When you spin out, boom, you see how you went over the top and now you're not forming a V. The noodle is more parallel to the ground and we don't want that. If you are early extending and thrusting forward, same thing, you're not forming a perfect V and your hips have come off the wall terribly. We don't want that. So really keep those hips on the wall, keep your head nice and steady and get explosive with the hips like that. And since it's a very small movement, you can get super aggressive with that hip turn. Um, it'll really not hurt, strain your body at all because it's a small movement. And it's a really great way to get your hips moving explosively. If you are doing this, I want you to do this actually a couple times, maybe good 10 times before you go ahead and try and hit the golf ball. 
So let's try and do this with the club in our hands. So the V kind of feels like this. Boom. It's a bigger V, right? Keep the hips back, head still, and make a V. Wow, that sounded really solid. <laughs> Guys, I showed you an Amify drill. Got to make that V and it's going to help you keep your hips back, head steady, and get those hips moving really powerfully. You're going to start bombing it off the tee and your friends are going to be super jealous guys <laughs> i know driving is super important but we've got a ton of other lessons as well in store so please keep watching as we go through the bag